Return the slab. Return the slab. Oh, suffer my curse. Hi, this is a breakdown of the process of how I created this animation. I start with making a rough sketch on Blender. I get this minimal viewport by going into solid shading, setting lighting to flat, color to object, disable x-ray and outline to black. The background is a plane facing me and to work in front orthographic view, I have here 1 and 5 on my numpad. Now I can start sketching the basic model. For box modeling, I tend to use cubes with 3 subdivision, so I select the cube and hit Ctrl 3 and start adding edge loops and transforming the mesh into basic sketches. I also use the Y axis for layering and use the mirror modifier for limbs and symmetrical objects. After I've made a few rough sketches and I've reached something I'm happy with, I then move out of orthographic view to compose the scene. I can start adding details and additional assets. I use the same process for making any other scenes. The few additional modifiers I use are Solidify for cloth and Bevel modifier to smoothen out the edges. Next step is to set up the materials and lighting. For the lighting of this scene, I've used a primary HDRI set in Worldview. Then I add area lights to illuminate any dullness and also added a few rim lights. For materials, I mainly use diffused colors with few added procedural shaders. Like magic texture to bump note for cloth. Musgrave to noise for wood. Noise plugged into a color ramp to an emission ramp for the moon. To animate the cloud metaballs, I add procedural sine wave modifiers to move it in one axis and then copy and paste it on another axis. Since both are moving simultaneously, it will look like a straight line, but if you translate one of the waves, it will move in an ellipse pathway. Then I duplicate and create variations of it to get this sort of movement. As for the main character, you could use a refined rig and maybe set up bendy bones. Or you could just use a lattice modifier. Of course this wouldn't work with every character, but it's a useful way of manipulating geometry. If you've ever had to make a wave, you might have run into the issue of it basically oscillating between two poses, similar to the one in the original reference video. To avoid that and make it actually flow in one direction, I create a lattice and increase edge loops on one axis to whatever seems reasonable. I move one of the edge loops on one axis as a blend shape and set the range to negative 1 to allow it to automatically go the opposite way. I also give it an initial keyframe by hitting I while hovering over the value. I do the same for every other loop as a separate blend shape. Then I add a built-in sign function to all of them. Now if I equally transpose all of the waves, I get this result.
This process is a bit of manual work, especially if you want to adjust the speed later on, you might need to change all the values. The benefit although is that you have a lot more control of the wave now. You can manually position it, you can stretch it, you can also dampen part of the waves by adjusting the amplitude in case you want an anchor point for the wave. If you found any of the steps that I've mentioned a bit confusing, you can leave a comment and I'll try my best to respond. This might seem like a difficult workaround, but once you've made it, you can basically duplicate it and use it as a lattice modifier with any mesh you want. Putting all of that together with a bit of post-processing, I get this final result. So if you found this helpful in any way, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Okay, bye.